Hey, Math 31, I had a question on number 77. So they told us that we had this square that was 12 units per side, and they were gonna cut little squares out of that square in the corners, and they were each gonna be x plus one units long. So let me start mapping this out. I want you to imagine this entire length here, right? This is 12 units. They didn't give us actual units like inches or feet, but that's fine. And I want you to imagine, right, I, from this 12, I'm gonna lose this little, actually, let me change colors, this little bit of x plus one and this little bit of x plus one. So I want you to imagine how long this side is. And I say that side because when we wind up folding this up and making a little box, these are gonna be the lengths of the base of that, that, little, that little box that you're gonna make. So I want us to think about how we would get this number. I'm gonna head back to green. So I want you to imagine this, and let me color code this, this length, this, that length that we're looking for, that would be equal to our starting value of 12. And then again, I lose an x minus one here. So I'm gonna subtract out x, I shouldn't say x minus one, excuse me, x plus one. But then I also lose another x plus one down here. And I'm putting parentheses around that, that term because it's a binomial and when you're subtracting a binomial, you gotta remember to subtract both terms. So if I simplify this a little bit, this is 12 minus x minus one, minus another minus x minus one. And then when I combine like terms, you can see that I'm gonna have 12 minus one minus one, that's gonna give me 10. And then I'm gonna have minus x minus x, so that's gonna be minus two x. And that's where you see me getting this expression here. Um, when I did it on the homework solutions, I instead of subtracting x plus one twice, I just multiplied it because I was gonna lose, like I said, an x plus one here and an x plus one here, so that's two of them. But either way you look at it, you get the 10 minus two x. So this length right here is 10 minus two x. This length right here is 10 minus two x. This length right here, 10 minus two x. And same thing here, this other yellow one, it is 10 minus two x. That is the sides of the, uh, of, I should say that is the base expression for our box. So when it comes to a box, you can imagine when you make a box, this is gonna be my best box that I make. All right, there it is, right? This was 10 minus two x, this was 10 minus two x, and then up here, this is x plus one. So when I go to look at the volume, right, it's length times width times height or because it's a square, it's side squared times height, but that's where I'm getting this expression down here, length times width times height. And then it's a matter of multiplying all of that out using all sorts of distribution rules. So the first thing I did was I distributed the 10 minus 2x to the 10 minus 2x. And then how I get from here to here is I, I distribute some more. So I have to distribute the 100 to the x plus one, and then I have to distribute the minus 40x to the x plus one, and then I have to distribute the 4x squared, oops, excuse me, to the x plus one. And then when you multiply all of that out, right, and you collect like terms, here comes the volume function, right? So it's, it's a cubic, 4x cubed, minus 36x squared plus 60x plus 100. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.